Hello everybody! And welcome back to some more Paper Mario that does in your door. I'm ready to go see. Here you go. Oh, that's what you sound like. Yeah. Yeah. So today, we're gonna start getting uh, chapter 5 done, which uh, the professor said the next place is on an island, and the best way is to go to the harbor and start looking for some. if anyone can give us a ride. But we're doing that. You gonna go donate more coins to the hedge fund? Is there any in the hedge fund? The guy's not here. He skipped town. Wait, is that a is that a plane spot? That's what I'm right. What is that? Well, we can't do anything with it because it's not glowing. Well, I guess we'll just talk to people. What? Key hall key? Oh, that place is absolutely awful. I've heard. Not long ago, ship after ship went there hunting treasure, but none have returned. I bet they met the bad end of the Pirate King's curse. Those guys are dumb. Me too. Key hall key. You mean the island where the treasure hoarder of Cortez, the Pirate King, is hidden? So you want treasure, huh? Fine, but you keep an eye out or the Pirate Curse will get you. Yo, Key! That's that cursed island! Don't get mixed up with that place for your own sake! I thought that said your own sake. <laughs> no matter how much work I do, life never gets any better for me, you know what I mean? There's gotta be a way to just go poof and get rich, you know. I like the the crossbows. Like, oh, there's a this wasn't here before. Look at this shit. Can I get in? All right, the key hall key. Arg, a vast you may see. Set the sails. All right. I'm a boy and sail away with your hopes and dreams. Oi, you with the mustache. What's with the stink eye? Eh? You got something to say? Right then, ask me anything. I'm like an encyclopedia I am. I can answer anything. I know. Oh. Kill key. I don't know anything. <laughs> Listen, mate. Don't ask me about that place. I got no need for a curse from the Pirate King. Alright, does anyone fucking know? See that ship, Doctor? She belongs to Flavio, the merchant trader. Okay. He don't sail too often, though. Mostly he hangs at Podley's joint on the plaza. Alright, well, if he owns that shit, maybe we can ask him to, to, like, I don't know, give us a nice ride, drop us off. <laughs> Oddly's place is the boss. I think it's the, that bar place that Luigi was in. Yeah. Luigi's still in here? Yeah. Of course he is. Fuck yeah. Well, he stays there until the chapter stuff. For a bomb mob blowing up is like throwing a punch for an ordinary bloke. If you want to leave the biggest impression, you gotta do it with perfect timing. My mom said that once you learn that time and you're finally an adult bomb mob. Ah, oh, mom. He's dead. What the fuck? Four times is wax. Now all the firework. Boom, and the crack. That's a boom, bust a boom, festival. Is that a badge? And what do you want, hon? Who, me, you ask about? Oh, I'm, I'm called Flavio. I am, who, how you say, a traitor, the richest man in Rogueport. Monetary wealth gives me freedom. Yes, and freedom gives me wealthy, wealth of spirit. And yet, why is it that a man with whose life is unchained must always long for yet more, huh? What is missing from my life? This tears of my very inside. I must know, what do I lack? Ah. Uh, probably romance. You probably get no bitches. Yeah, you get no bitches. Romance, you say, huh? I suppose one does need some romance in life. What do other sweet, delectable fruit must could make so many wonderful pasta sauces? Ah, oh, no! Foolish Fabio. No Romos. You silly man. What I need is romance! Wait, hold the horses. That's it? What, what's up? Now that I'm thinking about it, I heard that there's a treasure in Cortez, the Pirate King. Yes, this is the answer! Oh, such happiness for me! A hunt for pirate treasure! Why, that must shrieks of romance and thrills and emotion and even money! Do you know the tale? The Pirate King's treasure hidden in Keyhaw Key? Is this like Gold Rogers? Are we going the like, laughing tale? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go find a One Piece. Yeah. Well, the tales say that the Pirate King Cortez hid his hoard of pirate booty there. He said booty. <laughs> <laughs> For years, treasure hunters and ruffins? 
and ruffians, ruffians. ruffians have gone there in search of the loot. But not a single one of them has returned. Oh, the horrors make my back tickle. People here whisper that the ghost of Cortez attacks all who seek his treasure. Reek! It is because of those very rumors that people no longer go to Kihaki. But that will not stop Flavio. That treasure is there, yes, and I'm going to prove it. For I am Flavio, traitor extraordinaire, millionaire sailor of the Seven Seas. What is that you're saying? Are you also looking for treasure here in Rover? Yeah! Ever heard of these magical treasures called the Crystal Stars? <laughs> I got four. <laughs> Why talking such craziness? There isn't anything like that in this dual armpit of a town. You cannot be believe such ru stupid rumors about treasure such street urchins spews out. No, 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 no. Now, what madness comes bursting out of your mouth? Do you have a treasure map? Well, hand it over. Rather, I mean, uh, show me. Holy shit! These Princess Peach Newses are off the charts! <laughs> That's crazy. You are d having a joke on me. This map leads straight to Kihalki. You swine. You mean to steal my treasure out from underneath me, you awful, awful man. No, no, we just want a star. You can keep all the gold. <laughs> well, now I'm confused. You're looking for things known as crystal stars. Yeah. But now that I'm thinking, a star-shaped stone was said to be in Cortez Hood. Perhaps if I could sell it for a staggering amount of cash. Yes, that would be. Ah, I accept such thoughts, Lavio. But, but you need is romance, thrills, and emotion. I cannot ignore what this business before me suggests. This must be fate at work. Fabio must go with you to Kihaki. Of course, the crystal star is yours. Yes, but the rest of the treasure is mine. Alright. Theo. Ah, uh, you must repeat that. Flavio's ears are plugged. You have no ship? <laughs> you unfortunate foolish man. Do you know who I am? I will have a ship ready in no time, and it will be a massive and glorious. I guess it's just a ship. <laughs> splendid, splendid, splendid. Let us begin preparations immediately. Shall we? I will volunteer myself as an in interpret interpret leader. Yes, and you will be the captain. <laughs> ah, danger and adventure tickles my my nostrils. Come to the harbor right away. Taking this fucking thing. <clears throat> cool. Hey, Martin, can I get a drink around here? Probably. Oh, yeah. Wait, huh? Da 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 da. Means scram. Don't talk to me. My heart's burning from my long lost love. Yes, I'm speaking of the extraordinary beauty at the juice shop and glitch. Oh my god, the little girl, like the fucking toe that was standing there? No matter how many times I flirted, she never paid me the slightest attention. Damn, that sucks. Some may say it felt like she didn't even see me. Some say I have no fucking wrists. <laughs> some say I get no bitches, and yeah. some of them may be right. <laughs> well, I get. Well, let's see. Oh, a lot of people are gone from here. Look at that! Wait, is that the fucking shopkeeper? What did it say? Isn't that the the motherfucker from what the Exonauts? What this guy? Oh shit! No shit! I went to jump. Eh. What are you? Uh, pleased to meet you. Uh, your acquaintance. <laughs> All right. Oh yes, it is you, ah. Huh? Well, sadly, a side problem seems to have popped up. But feast your eyes on this extraordinarily fantastic ship. She's a fine just know. She is the SS Flavian, the queen of the Candle ships of my personal feet. The raw majestic of her hull, the pomp and circus circumstances. <laughs> None can compare to her. Ah, behind the elegant curve of her prow, she cuts the very soul, don't you agree? So what's the problem? Stop talking about your ship! <laughs> but she is not just a beauty, she is a savage beast among the waters, tops among sailboats. But above all, I tell you, this proud ship can- can you tell us what the problem is? Ah, oh, yes. Do you speak? Yes, 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 of course. The problem has sprung up. I had completely forgot about it. The other Savion, ha she bewitches me. But oh, yes, there is an issue. Well, we have no navigator. He ran off the dog. The navigator, of course, the highest rank, Hellman. He steers ships, you know? Now, there is a real problem. The water around Kila Keys is dan uh, deadly dangerous. We need an absolutely skilled helmsman of our navigator. That is a how do you say a pickle? No, you just said it. Just oh my god, that reminds me of a stupid fucking skit. I gotta find it later. It was like I don't know if anyone else knows what I'm talking about, but it was like a shitty Barbie one where they had like the Barbie be French, 
and you're like, how do you say notebook? And you're like, you just fucking said notebook. Just say notebook. <laughs> uh, oh, Flavio. Heard you talking there, sir. If you don't mind me saying, I might have a solution. Do not tease, Papach. You can solve our problem. It's with an authority. Well, sir, I heard you talking about a fame. No, a legendary sailor living in a rope pool. Yeah, I think you called Admiral Bomber. A salty old sea dog, by all accounts. But he said he's had a helm touch, sir. He can make any ship out to his will. Thing is, there ain't a soul who's seen him in the seas of late. Bust the bomb? Problem solved. Let's scout out this bombery fellow and make him come aboard. Where the fuck did we find him? <laughs> that is customary. My captain will handle on negotiations. That will be you, Mario. That does sound fair to everyone, does it not? No complaints. Hi, Isaac! I'm born! The little detective. You must find this bumberry and bring him here. Our fortress sails. Our fortress sails with you. Alright, fine. Where do we find this guy? You really struggle reading, don't you? What? There is a... Everything the opens problem? since you messed up at least one word. Stop being mean to me! You're not supposed to be mean to your partner! <laughs> All right. Well, well, where do we find this guy? Mm. I, I'm... That's him, the Goomba. Get him! <laughs> well, well, if I learned anything from uh, like real life and whatnot, you always ask the bartender because the bartender knows everyone in town, especially since this is a small town and whatnot. Emerald Bomber. Yeah, yeah, I know of him. You know, that house just past the wall of the eastern part of town. That's his. But I think both of you and he will be better off. You just let him be. Oh. Huh. Well, too bad. Well, fuck you. We're got, we got Our ship depends on it. Wait a minute. Bobby has been sailing for, like, years. And he doesn't know how to fucking sail a ship. <laughs> He's, he pays someone else to fucking do it for him. He's just a traitor. Yeah. It's locked from the inside. How do we get up? Wait. Wait a minute. I got it. Hold on. The other day I saw this guy jumping from roof to roof. Man, he was so dashing. But you know, actually, he might have been abandoned. Maybe that's why he was sneaking into chimneys. Probably. I feel like there's something over here. Like a... A star piece? No, <gasps> oh, a star piece is real! Into the chimney you go. Wait, wait, there's something right there! Shine bright. I love shine bright. Is there anything else up here? Oh. Who the fuck is this? It's Mary Poppins. Good afternoon to you, sir. I am called Grifty, the traveling ministry. I spend my days here in leisure. In leisure, spinning tales that, sp that spin the census. I know but a few stories that surround the town of Roku. If you like, I could share them with you, but it would require a few coins. Is there a tale you want to hear? There are tales you can hear from me now. Damn. You can get some lore! Maybe we'll, maybe we'll do this. Wait, should we just do the first one? Sure. Alright. Premier Funk. Yeah, yeah. Tell me the tale. Ages ago, a city flourished here in peace and splendor, <laughs> but there, it was destroyed in a single day by a demon from the dark beyond. Historians claim a great chasm befell this city, but nay, it was a demon. The demon- that was the shit. <laughs> the city sank below the ground, and one quarter of the old city became the demon's den. This demon put fear into the hearts of all men and sent out minions to take the land. And its den, its palace, grew rich with the treasure stolen from all over the world. But there's another thing one here to ask. Alright, maybe we'll do that later. Like, get all the lore. What was this? Oh, there's. Okay. Well, you know that the guy said? He was going in the chimneys? Yep, rolling in. Rolling right along, we found the. Oh, shit! What do you blokes want? Hi. 
Sorry we broke in. Admiral Barbary? I haven't the faintest idea what you're talking about. Now, if you please. Drop the axe, Super Stash. We already found out that you're Admiral Barbary. Hmm. What poppycock? Tell me, what would you want with me if I were this chap? <laughs> you say your ship needs a navigator and you want me to do the job? Mm hmm? So sorry, but you'll have to look elsewhere. I shall set sail upon the sea nevermore. Hmm. But that's just not cool. You want to see me beg or something? Is that it? You have to come along. Only you can get a safe for the key hawk key. Awfully sorry, dear boy, but when I say no, what I mean is... No! Uh -oh. Now get the fuck out of here! <laughs> yeah! Let me rob your house real quick. It's a nice area. It's just cute. Alright, fine, I'll leave. Fuck you! Well, shit. Oh, Yoshi, why'd you go through me? What's the next move, Chief? That salty dude's going nowhere fast. I can't figure out this guy. What's his beef with the ocean anyway? No, what we gotta do? Go find someone who knows what this dude's deal is. Well, that guy, that the bartender kind of hinted that he was, like, he was gonna say no already. So he might know what's going on. Yeah, we can go back. That's the bartender. Yeah. Hey, that bitch said no. Can you do our, our shutter ship? You said Bobbery won't go to sea, huh? Well, can't say that surprises me. The real question is, are you folks really sure you want Bobbery back in the waters? Yeah, he's the only one that can do our job. <laughs> oh, is that it? I see. You want to mount the expedition to Keyhaw Key. Rough seas out there. Most sailors would meet their ends. Not all Bobbery, though. I'm gonna keep shining this glass back and forth while I make weird eye contact with you. <laughs> the fact of the matter is, Admiral Bobbery's tale is sad. Horribly sad, actually. You probably end up crying, but I'll tell you if you really want me to. Yeah, we gotta figure out the truth. In that case, get ready. Bobbery's tale is woe goes something like this. Bobbery was once married. He had a wife of enduring beauty named Scarlet. The two of them were madly in love, but so did love refer to in fairy tales. Now Barry was a renowned sailor, so he was away from home for long times. Scarlet never complained, though. He always and always waited faithfully for Barry's return. And Barry, his eyes never drifted. He loved only Scarlet, truly and deeply. So they lived and found happiness where they could, and all was good for a time. But not, but not all good things can last. It was particularly icy winter when it happened. Scarlet felt ill, a virus, a passing cold. No one knew, but it turned turned serious. Barbary at sea, Barbary at sea on a long, lonely journey, knew nothing about his bride's suffering. By the time he returned, Scarlet had succumbed. She was gone. Barbary, of course, blamed themselves. My loving life perished because of me. If I were not at sea, I could have nursed her back to health. I could have saved her. He was overcome with such thoughts. It tormented him always, haunting his sleep. He was never gone out to sea since. Gee, what a doubt. I guess that's pretty good reason to hate in the ocean. You know all this town now. So tell me, do you still want him to return to sea? I guess. Very well, I understand. If you're that determined, then I'll give you this. Was letter Scarlet wrote to Bobbery on her deathbed. Why does he have this? I feel like this should have been given to him a long time ago. <laughs> on her deathbed, Scarlet wrote Bobbery a final letter. And I, you hold it in your hands. I don't know what's written inside, but I can tell you what she said on her dying. If I should come to this plague, and if my love should blame himself for my death, and give him this letter, so he can hear my voice. That was her last request. But when I saw Bobbery in misery, trying to forget about the his pain as he mourned his wife. I just couldn't bring myself to present this letter to him. I've regretted it ever since. Please, take this letter and do the deed I was too cowardly to do. Take it to Bobbery. Listen, Podley. Thanks a ton. We'll deliver this thing. You feel better, okay? Let's roll, Gonzalez. Damn. I guess he had a good reason not to give it to him. That's a Dude, you're not honoring her death wishes. <laughs> 
specific instructions to give it to him if this is what happened. And once you give it to her, she'll be able to pass on in peace. Yeah. <clears throat> Get the fuck out of my house! <laughs> what? Oh, by Blaverton's beard. Not you again! Hi. I have a no letter. No matter how many times you entreat me, my stance is firm. Now away with you. Wait, hold on. I got a, I got a letter from your dead wife. Here. Pardon? A letter, you say? For me? Yeah. What? what? Scarlet? This is Scarlet's handwriting. Scarlet, my love. It's, it's a girl. Okay, but... fine. My love, if you're reading this letter, then I'm no longer by your side. Because fate has stepped between us, I can. I have decided to write you this letter. If you're reading this, I must have passed away while you were out at sea. I can only assume that you blame yourself for it, my sweet Bobbery. Although my life is short, you gave me more than a lifetime's worth of joy. Although you will mourn, I beg that you remember that time like love is a tide. You are the one with the sea, as you were one with me. Do not lose both of your life's loves. Time like love is a tide. You are one with the sea, as you were with one with me. A, a thousand pardons, but may I have a moment alone, if you please. Aww. Yes, love. I was happy, my sweet, sweet Scarlet. I love you still. Aww. <laughs> now then, you were looking for a navigator, I believe. Bound for Keyhole Key? Yeah. Rumph! If you think an old sea bomb like me is what you need, then let's shove off! Arrow Bobbery, yes! God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> The ship's in the harbor, hmm? I must inspect her before we leave. I shall meet you there. What? You were sad! We're not crying, you're crying! <laughs> it was sad. It hit you in the feels. Oh wait, I got an email. Wait, this would make me feel better. Here, Mario, here's my newt! <laughs> No, that's a puny! Hi, Mario. How are you? I'm, a uh, good. Not very good. No. Great. Lots of things have changed here. Oh, but not the Elder being mad at my brother. That's still the same. I do wish you'd come by and play sometime. Are you really busy? Are you going someplace far away? Like a place no one's ever been? Wow, that'd be fun. I'm jealous. Well, if you ever have time to come back here, come play with me, okay? You have to promise from Cutie with a blue egg. <laughs> yeah, remember I gave her brother the high pitched voice and her the deepest voice? Yeah. Aren't you ready here? Sailing away! I know what! What is all sailing away? My diamond! <laughs> Yay! Alright! Oh, there he is! I knew you'd get Barbary on board, you wonderful mustache man, you! To you, I say, hey oh. Ahoy! Ahoy, sorry! <laughs> Ahoy! I was wise to choose you as the captain. Ahoy to you, to, ahoy to me as well! My men have already loaded our cargo and supplies. Yes, preparations are complete. If you have no errands, we will depart once. What do you say? Shall we set sail? Fuck yeah! Pretty well to see! Raise the anchor and set the sails for thrills of emotion and romance and money. Our destination is thread a dreaded Kilha Key. Right up! Oh. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be someone from there. Man, the limited 3D graphics in this game are quite charming. <clears throat> Bye! This is Eggnog 1 here, call me my dude. I repeat, Eggnog 1 here, over. Roger, reading you bye bye. Infiltration is successful. Exot Black aboard vessel. Repeat, X not black is aboard the vessel.
Oh, curtain call. Chapter five. The key to the pirates. The Yo, One Piece. You know we're, we're getting. This is the ending of One Piece. They're just gonna. They're just gonna copy and paste the Paper Mario thing. Mozart, day X zero. Over the pr protections of my crew, the SS Flavio has set sail. Is this voyage as reckless as they say? Oh, I must scoff. Flavio will show them guts. It's nighttime. Look at you, stars. It's ending again. Month star, day XX. Another day of wind, of good wind. White clouds, they dazzle me. It is as they are blessing our voyage. Flavio thanks them most heartedly. Month star, day X, music note. Things are going smoothly, yet I am filled with dread. At this speed, we should reach our destination by tomorrow's sunrise. Oh, the best! Go, Cap- Go, Captain K says, please. Bread jewel shines in place. Boom, basta, boom, basta, bell. The stash brothers, best of friends. Three times red, stash blends on his end. Two stash, badly full time. Is whack, so. So let's hear those fireworks go boom. At the boom, must the boom festival. Yes, now that we're talking. Flavio told you, did he not? Nothing to fear, no. The land, the island is right before our eyes. Do you not see it? It's a mountain of treasure. Oh, oh, oh I feel fabulous. Shall I tell you one of my br many tales of raw bravery? No, there's no trouble at all. I was there, locked in deadly combat with the sea serpent. And yes, and even though I smiled, I knew I would prevail. I had the beast licking. I was, I find Flavio. I'm the great. <laughs> great, he started again. A, a, a tale of bravery, right? I heard this one yesterday. Oh, well, there's nothing to escape to. We just have to listen till we finish. Yeah, if you interrupt the mid story, you'll absolutely lose it too. Huh? What the? What's going on here? The ship's stopping. Oi, Master Flavio. Awfully sorry to interrupt your wicked story, man. But the ship stopped. Huh? Stop, you say. Stop, you say to me after interrupting a story of passion and fury. Well, it's your job to keep the ship moving, yes? Mm hmm. So take care of it. Oh, aye, aye, Flavio. I'll get to it right quick. Wait the tick. Any coin then? There's no frames. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm working on it. Just wait a Goomba stop in a moment, you whack, you whack tail. Oh, sorry, I can't read. Boy, quit shoving, eh? I'm working over here. I say, quit shoving. Uh! <laughs> Man, I didn't know a man could run that fast. There's here. What is all this ruckus now? Who is here? Would someone tell me what's going on? Uh oh. Ooh. Ooh. Wait, I don't even know who's talking. No, they're upon us, the pirate ghost. The rumors were true. Oh, what do we do? We gotta get out of here! Ah! Even Bobbery's looking. Yeah. Oh, don't panic yourselves! This is the dream! What we're having- we're all having awake? No, 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 quickly, move the boat! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, go see ordering things. Are you really the savage fighter king? Oh shit. I tell me Buck up now everyone, remain civilized, relax, don't panic. Relax, 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 relax I say. You simply must take it easy. Er, what? Oh Bobbery went overboard! This 
Excuse me. Forget it. Make a bet. Rory, you look alive, man. I. We must get out of here. Abandon ship. Every rich mob is virgin for himself. Uh oh. Oh, the ship is sinking. I was sinking straight down. Climb aboard and sail away with your hopes and dreams. <laughs> Month star. Day. X star. Fortune from disaster. The kind sea washes ashore. What strange irony. What strange irony is that this island is the very des intended destination all along, no? And yet, we mourn. We have lost three crew members, including Admiral Bob Marie. It pains me to think that they are taken by the Pirate King, that ghastly thing. What happens to us now, huh? We may be lost without hope, stricken from the wilds. Monstar, day X heart. We have made semblance of civilized life here. The ship's floats some washed in, and now we have salty bread and other salty things. We can live for some time on the salty bounty from the sea, but what? But when what? I ask. But then what? Fuck! I can't. <laughs> Day circle circle. We had built a few huts from here that washed up timbers. Ah, uh, poor sweet Essius Flavian. At least her sh shanties keep out the wind and rain. We will have no signs of, of Bobbery and the others. It's my heart. In my heart, she doubts. Still, despite my fears, we must continue to hope that they are alive somewhere. Days Circle X. Three days in this aisle. Now, in the huts that are all finished. We have carved a life out here, although we are all dream of returning to Roadport. Hee hockey? Oi, Captain Stash! Ain't much, but we finished the wee hut for you to rest in. Come have a look. Yeah. So, you know Admiral Bobbery went overboard. I wonder who the other two went, who left. Damn! Please help us! Flavio and Papatch are in a huge fight! Oh god. I gotta voice both of these characters! What about you, Squatchy? You turned to jello when we saw all those ghosts. What are you talking about? You were the ones scratching at the boots, fancy pants. Wait, wait a moment. Did, did you just call me the great Fabio of fancy pants? That's right, fancy pants. Fancy pants, fancy pants, fancy pants, fancy pants. Why do that to Cyclops? Fabio demands that is satisfaction. You'd me hammers at dawn. <laughs> Oi. That's right, fine by me. I can't wait to put a few dents in those fancy threads. So what was I supposed to do about that? <laughs> Who are you? Who's you? <clears throat> Captain Stash, those ghosts are back. Ooh. Oh shit, they are. What am I gonna deal with them? You're Mario, Brimson's up there. That's an order. Take care of these ghosts. Why am I gonna do everything around here? Gonna jump on the fire. Oh, I don't think we can. We can hammer them though. Okay, play this fight. No, we can try this attack. Throw eggs at enemies to shrink them the tiny size. Press A when the thing lights up. All right. I mean, that's pretty cool. That you hammered the, the big one. Oh, uh, you, you know, I have to go in order. Uh, we can do super hammer. That way, it hits that one, then hits in the other one. Sure. Pretty good. Nice. Oh shit. Ooh, super. Oh, I don't even think Yoshi can go with these. I'm probably just gonna use Super Hammer again. Damn. Yeah, I don't think Yoshi can do anything. So I guess we just appeal? Yeah. Aw, oh, look at him, he's so cute! <laughs> Oh shit! Our bolt burnt. 
Oh shit! Okay. Sorry, Yoshi. Did you super hammer again? Yeah. HP these guys have. Yeah, I think if we gulp it, he's gonna get hurt. Can't ground pounding because they're fire, and this just shrinks them. Yeah. Maybe we can switch party members out. Uh, Coops? Probably good. Should probably do super uh, power shell on this guy. Hell yeah, we need them. Alright, this should kill it. Nice. Yeah, we did it! First start. Let's go. I think if we used the fire flower on it, it actually would have just healed them. Yes, you bloomin' beast, Captain Stash. You are ready to celebrate, no? There are suddenly more of them somewhere, else. Huh? Someone must investigate the rest of the island. Yes, that would must would that would. That is what we must. Be. What a fuck you! <laughs> As leader of this expansion, I, of course, will stay here. Um, on this, I brook no argument. Ah, oh, yes, of course, Mario. Perhaps you can handle the exploration of this island? I guess. No one else can fight around here. <laughs> that is my boy. I knew you would be go forward with boldness. We count on you. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Oh, I'm glad I'm attributing. <laughs> Man, we just got Bob, Bob like Admiral Bombery out of fucking retirement with that old letter and then he just dies and <laughs> Well, at least he's with his wife. Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> well, I mean it's happy to an extent. He missed it. Yeah. That, that sucks. You're like, I, you know what? That my old wife was right. I shouldn't lose sights of both of my loves. And then he just fucking dies immediately from going out to sea. And well, yeah, but then he's not losing one of his loves anymore. Cause, cause, That's cause, really sad. Why did you say that? <laughs> I'm looking on the bright side of things. All right. If he's dead, I mean, sure, it's sad, but he's, he's in a better place now. Yeah. Well, I guess... In the next one, I guess we'll explore the island of Kiha Ki. And find the One Piece. Yes. We're on Laughing Tail Island. <laughs> Everything's a One Piece reference. This whole chapter's a One Piece reference. Yeah. Pirate Kings, Ghost, Shipwrecks, Mario, Navigator. That's Nami. <laughs> well, see you guys next time. Bye bye. bye, -bye.